Does information have a structure? I think it does. I think information has a structure much like you might say that a building has a structure. It has a way that it's put together. It has a, uh, an internal consistency that we can point to. The kind of structure that we're going to talk about in this class is a relatively simple version of what you might consider the real structure or the deep, deep structure of information. But it's a kind of structure that will be extremely useful to you as you go through your career working with different kinds of information systems, all of which are intended to collect up kinds of information, organize those kinds of information, and deliver those kinds of information. So what this course is going to work you through is a set of concepts a set of ideas about how information can be structured. It's not the only set of ideas you can use to understand the structure of information, but my contention is that it's a very useful one and it's one that will be, uh, that'll serve you throughout the rest of your career. I'll give you a whole lot of vocabulary to understand that, a way of being able to talk about information um, uh, so that you and others who also understand the structure of information can work together to find the best structure for your information. I'll give you um, also a set of tools. We're going to be working with extensively with XML in this class, and XML is going to be the tool that we use to represent and present the structure of information. So XML will be a key part of this class, but XML is not the point of the class. The point of the class is really to understand the structure of information. You can understand the structure of information without being able to do it, but my feeling is that why not get you doing it as well as understanding it? So we'll understand it through the concepts and we'll do it through creating structured XML files that represent the structure of the kinds of information that we want to create. There'll also be a whole litany of methods that you can use. We'll run through lots and lots of the typical ways that information is structured and I'll give you specific ways that you can represent that structure and then present that structure. One example among many, you'll learn how to put, uh, how to put a hierarchical or a taxonomic list inside a list box on an HTML page. Very useful little thing to be able to do and part of the methods that I want to teach you in this class. So by the end of the class you'll have concepts, you'll have a tool set, and you'll have a set of methods that you can use. What I want you to be able to take away from this class, what I want you to be able to do by the end of the class is first to be able to analyze an information, uh, in, analyze information that you're presented with. We'll work a lot with web pages and taking those web pages apart to see what they're made of, to see what the underlying structure is underneath those web pages. So that's part A, to be able to analyze, to be able to describe, to be able to understand the structure of information that you see in front of you, to be able to detect what structure there must be behind the presentation of information. That's the first part. I want you also to be able to create structured information. Using XML as a tool, be able to create structured information based on your understanding of the concepts of structure. So be able to create a taxonomy, for example. Be able to create a keyword index using XML as a tool set. And then finally, to learn about the presentation of information. You'll see soon that we separate dr dramatically, we separate the structure of the information from how that information is presented to end users. I want to forever put a, a wall between you and the end users, a conceptual wall where you think about the structure, of the, end, uh, the structure of the information and end users think about the presentation of the information. So having taught you about the structure of information, we're going to have to give you also some methods for presenting that information in a way that end users will understand. So by the end of the class, I hope that you can analyze information, describe information, go through a web page, for example, and say what must be the structure of information behind this web page. I want you to be able to create structured information, and then I want you to be able to transform that structured information into a presentation that end users can, can deal with, end users can parse, end users can understand. That's what we're going to do.